I'm about to give you the quick and dirty tutorial on how I made this. A professional lyric video for my new single, Fucking With My Energy, featuring Dane the Great, which by the way, you can check out it. The link's here, description, somewhere around here. So if you're like me and you like uh, you like to take the, the complicated and make it simple, you've come to the right place. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make your own lyric video as well, so let's get into it. What's going on? I'm Santino Campanelli, a musician and filmmaker based out of Los Angeles. And I'm also a guy who likes simple tutorials for complex tasks. Complex tasks. <laughs> Let's do this. Once you've opened Adobe After Effects, the first thing you're gonna need to do is click New Composition. And let's give it a fun name, like fun name. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use 1080 at 2997, but for the example video, lyric video that I showed at the beginning of this, I did it in 4K, which is 3840, 2160 at 29.97 frames per second. If I just said a bunch of numbers and you have no idea what's going on, all you really need to hear is, this is HD, this is 4K, I'm doing it at about 30 frames per second, but like I said, we'll start at uh, 1080, everything's set, square pixels, playback resolution to keep it half, background color black by default, click OK, bam, new composition has been created. Next, you're going to want to head over to the project tab here, right click in the background, go to import, file, and locate your lyric video assets. Convenient how that was already there, right? Uh, I have a few different options here, some I'll show in a bit, but the main ones that I'm going to bring in right now are going to be the music file and the logo. So we're going to import those here, and the logo is what I'm going to be using for the background of this video. Now, what I did in the example video that I showed you before was you make a visualizer animation, which I'll talk about at the end of this video, because there's a few alternatives. You can have a, a couple of different things there if you want to. But the three main elements of your video are going to be the music, the lyrics, and the background. So first things first, let's put the music on on the timeline, right? So we click and drag it down here into the little work area. Then we're gonna set the length of our timeline. I'm gonna click and drag this little blue guy here, and boom. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is bring the logo onto the comp. I'm gonna click and drag and resize that to fit. Now, quick tip, by the way, when you're resizing elements inside of After Effects, uh, click on any of these, you'll notice that you can go with and it'll just kind of stretch in a weird way. You can do that in every direction. Uh, but if you want to make sure that you keep the ratio, the size locked and the proportions correct, when you click on this, hold down Shift and you can resize it and it stays nice and, uh, nice and proportionate. So we're going to get that about here. And then I want to align that to the center of the composition. I have a little align tab right here, pretty self-explanatory, and we're going to center it to the middle, uh, vertically and horizontally. If you don't see that, by the way, just head on to Window, up on the top menu bar, and make sure that align is checked, and you'll see that tab pop up. All right, uh, I'm going to drop the opacity of this so that the lyrics pop on top of it. So we're going to crack open this layer, drop down to Transform, you'll see the opacity section, and let's bring it down to like, I don't know, 40% or so. So the nice white lyrics uh, that we're gonna throw on top of it animated, look uh, look good, the contrast. We're gonna lock that layer, because I don't wanna keep clicking it and having it move and jostle around later on. That can be a, a big pain. So just lock it and set it and forget it, done. And now for arguably the most important part of the lyric video, the lyrics. So what you wanna do is first locate where the lyrics start in the song. So. And we're right around here, we're gonna zoom in on the timeline by pushing the plus sign on the keyboard. Figure that out where that is. Right around there-ish. And I'm gonna press Command T to bring up the text tool. You can also locate that here in the little tool menu up top. Click and create. First lyrics are can't stop me. I'm gonna click the selection tool up here so that we can click and drag, move it around. Again, align, center, vertical, horizontal, and we have the text set. If you wanna modify what font you're using, what color it is, just find the character tab here if you don't see it. Once again, go to window and click character and you'll see that here and you can make all the adjustments, change the font, size, all that good stuff, and then center it and make sure it's good to go. Now what I found worked for me to kind of put all the lyrics on the timeline was to type them up individually. You can also copy and paste them line by line as you get to each individual section from a text document or wherever you keep your lyrics. That's entirely up to you. Uh, but I just found it easier to just, you know, type as I went. So click and drag your text layer here, line it up at the beginning of the playhead where we set the audio, where the lyrics first start in the music, and let's paste. So it's ballpark, we'll get it around here. Stop it there, and then what I did is I split this text layer. The hotkey to do that is Command Shift D, 
and you'll see that it generates a brand new text layer above the previous one, but it splits it at the end of the playhead. And what's good about that is you can basically go through the entire song and all of these text layers will maintain the same attributes. So you'll have all the same uh, font, color, weight, size, etc., that you had set to the first one. Once you have all your text placed on the timeline, all of your lyrics are selected, you've figured out the dynamics of how you want it, individual words, phrases, what have you, the next part is the fun part, animation. So the easiest way to do this is to use the presets that are already built into Adobe After Effects. So you're gonna find the text that you wanna uh, animate, select the playhead where you want the animation to begin, and then head over to the effects and presets tab if you don't see that once again window and effects and presets make sure it's checked located here then you're going to find animation presets drop that down and there's a couple different options here you can play around with you know all the different ones just for the example right now i'll show you what this looks like if we use text animate in we'll go drop in by character we'll show you what this looks like now you'll notice that that wasn't fast enough to show up for the line. So if you want to modify this, you're going to click this individual layer here for this first bit of uh, lyric, drop it down a little further and find where these keyframes are located. It looks like they're under animator, range selector. We're going to zoom in, drop down one more time. And now that they're diamond shaped, they are selectable. We can move them around. So wherever we want them to start and end. So this here, we're going to press play and you see the animation is sped up, so everything's dropped and aligned with the music. And that's how you fine tune the animation. Now you may have noticed that those animations are the defaults, they're not the ones that I used in the video that I showed you at the beginning of this video. The animations that I used were actually downloaded from Motion Array, and there's a couple different websites like Envato Elements and Motion Array and I think Artlist and stuff that have presets for Adobe After Effects, and they're basically downloadable, fully custom uh, animation presets that you can click and drag to the text the same way you did with the Adobe After Effects ones. Pretty simple to install. Uh, those tutorials are out there through each individual website that you get them from, so I'm not gonna bother wasting your time with that. But if you have those installed, just find them located in the same section with, with the other animation presets, and then you just click and drag those as well, and you'll see that I use the glitch effects. Now, the difference here is that these don't always line up with the range selector option. You'll see there's a lot of different keyframes, so it's a little more difficult to line these up. You kind of have to break down each individual one, move all these keyframes to try and get the timing right. Or, what I did, like I said, quick and dirty is, remember earlier I said where the playhead is, that's where the animation will start. So if you watch as I add, let's remove this here move the playhead back and we'll kind of give it a bit of a buffer, right? So let's move the playhead back, a chunk of frames there, and then apply the same effect. You'll see that the keyframes started before the text layer even appears on screen. So you kind of get this animation there, but the ending of these keyframes also moved over with the rest of the animation. So now it's ending kind of where you want it to. So that's a little quick and dirty hack. That's how I applied a lot of the different animations as opposed to going in and micromanaging every individual keyframe. That's a pain in the butt. No one's got time for that. So, so I would just set the playhead back a little bit and click and drag the animation on depending on where it lands. They're all a little different depending on which pack you're using, which animation it is. And then kind of get it to try and land in a sweet spot for the, for the line. Boom, set. And that's how you animate all the lyrics in your timeline. And you can choose different animation styles. If the word drop pops up on screen like it does in ours, then you can try a different drop animation. Some of the presets are already labeled as well, so you can use the search bar in here and try and find what drop options there are. Just a quick little tip to find something that might pop in your head as you're doing it, or a wipe, or a zoom, etc., etc., etc. But try to make them match the best you can. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can also use different background options. So instead of just using the logo or static image in the background, I created a visualizer using a template that I found on Motion Array, which I'll put also down in the uh, description below. Using a free plugin from Video Copilot called Saber, it animates the logo and pulses it to the music. And you can change all the colors and fine tune the details of it however you want, but that's what I used in the background of mine. So you can use an animation like that or find a different template of some kind on one of the same sites for a different kind of animation that fits the style of your video, where you can also use another video, which is something I've done in the past as well. I've shot full music videos and then overlaid uh, lyric videos and uh, graphics over top the entire thing. So as an example, you can take a piece of footage. Uh, I have some live footage here from a recent show that Dana and I did. Make sure that uh, we drop it down, remove the audio from it, right click, head over to switches, click audio, and turn that off. So we'll see what that looks like. All right. 
So yeah, and this is, you can use whatever you want and you can modify this video. There's a bunch of different effects and after effects, obviously that you can tweak it, make it black and white, uh, throw a LUT on it, transform it so that the opacity is low again, like previously, so that the lyrics really kind of pop on top of it, but just so there's something happening in the background if you want. And once you're done and you've added all your animations, lined up your lyrics perfectly and everything feels real good, tight and pretty, all you gotta do is render it out. That's the last step. So what we're gonna do is add this to our render queue by pushing Control Command M on the keyboard or going up to composition and selecting add to render queue. You'll see it pops up right here in the render queue tab. Choose the different settings that you want for the output. Best settings, H.264 good, match the render, match what you have set up already and then just choose a name or where you want to output it to. Click save, click render, boom good to go and it'll start to render out the video exactly as you want it. If you have any questions about how any of this was done or anything was done in the lyric video, just drop me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. And if there's anything else you want to know that you've seen me make or seen me do and how I did it, again, drop a comment down below and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.